Should believers live in fear that they're going to eventually, possibly, wind up in the lake of fire? Hi, my name is Ken Yates, and I'm with Grace Evangelical Society, and I have some great news to share with you today. Often we are told that the Bible tells us that believers need to be concerned about where they are going to spend eternity. And one of the most common verses that are used to teach this doctrine is in Philippians chapter 2, verse 12, where Paul says, Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. It's often maintained that what this means is that you need to either examine yourselves or look at your works or whatever the case may be to see if you're measuring up. Perhaps you're told that if you don't do enough good works, you're going to lose your salvation. Or if you don't do enough good works, you were never saved to begin with. So you need to look at how you're doing, how you're acting, how you're living, and have a certain amount of fear and trembling, knowing that perhaps you're going to wind up in the lake of fire. But as I said at the beginning, I've got great news for you. That is not what Paul means. And we know that because the Bible never contradicts itself. And in the Gospel of John, for example, Jesus makes it very clear that once a person has eternal life, they can never lose it. It has nothing to do with our works. For example, to the woman at the well in John chapter 4, Jesus said, once you have eternal life, you can never thirst for it again. Or in John chapter 5, Jesus says that the believer will never be judged. So what does Paul mean in the book of Philippians when he says to these believers, by the way, in Philippi, that they need to work out their salvation with fear and trembling? Well, we know he's not saying they need to do works in order to keep their salvation or to prove that they are saved because the Bible says that by works, no one will be justified before God. And in Ephesians, Paul himself says that we are saved by grace through faith and not of works. This verse in Philippians chapter 2.12 is a great place to go to see that we need to look at how, what a word means in its context. So when Paul says, work out your salvation, what kind of salvation is he talking about? Well, to find that out in the book of Philippians, we need to look at how the word is used before, how he uses it in other places in the book of Philippians. And in chapter 1, verse 19, Paul uses the word salvation when he talks about himself. Paul wrote the book of Philippians while he was in prison, and he asked for the believers at Philippi to pray for him because he wants to honor the Lord while he is in prison. And he says, if you pray for me through the work of the Spirit, I will be saved. I will be, some of our translations say, delivered. But that's the same word. Paul wanted to experience salvation from dishonoring the Lord. Later in the same chapter, Paul tells the believers at Philippi that they are suffering for the Lord and that they too can be delivered. They too can experience salvation. And in both of those cases where Paul is talking about himself and talking about the Philippians, he's talking about believers who are going through difficult circumstances who can be delivered or saved from dishonoring the Lord. And that is what the word salvation in the book of Philippians means. And that's what it means in Philippians 2. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Paul was telling the church at Philippi that as a church, they should look to one another and work as a body of believers so that as a body of believers, they would honor the Lord in the midst of the pagan culture that they were living in, a culture that was opposed to them. And that if they looked to the Lord 
through the power of the Spirit that indwelled them individually and the church, they would be delivered from dishonoring the Lord in the culture in which they lived. The believer never has to worry about where they're going to spend eternity. If you have believed in Jesus Christ for eternal life, you know you have it. You don't have to live in fear that you're going to eventually wind up in the lake of fire. But we can, as believers, live in such a way that we dishonor the Lord and we should ask the Lord to save us from living that kind of lifestyle. If you've enjoyed this video, I would encourage you to press the sub subscribe button at the bottom of the page and you'll be notified when other videos from Grace Evangelical Society are available. And remember, focus on Christ.